Hey guys, John here. It's been a while since I've done some videos and I thought I'd put a quick one up. We've been super busy at the farmer's market actually. We've been to several farmer's markets and we've learned a lot from this first year and I thought I would take this opportunity to share with you three uh, simple and easy little tips that I've <laughs> learned on farmer's markets, how to do them better, how to be prepared and, um, and all that. Now these aren't like big, crazy, amazing tips that will just change your life. These are little bitty little tips that I just learned that I think are important to share. If you're aspiring to be a farmer market grower or if you just want to be better at what you're doing, I think these will be really beneficial to you. And it's things that you don't really think about but that really do make a difference. And here they are. Alright guys, tip number one is to have extra change. I know this sounds crazy, but when I had my little till, my little cash box, I had put 20 bucks in there. I'd put some, of course, some pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, but then I'd put like $10 worth of ones and a couple of fives. And the first week, that did really good. Um, you know, we sold a couple things, got a few dollars in, got a few, five or two, and then it kind of worked itself out. And we had plenty of change and busted up a few 20s, but, um, you know, it was just kind of, it kind of just worked itself out. Well, the second market, I was almost out. I had like 20s hitting me back to back and I was like oh no so I had to get my uh, dad to run get some change then my wife had to bring some to me later um, but you do not want to run out of change you know people are giving you their money you want to be able to take their money and be able to offer them um, change back. Now I did have to do one lady's uh, debit and credit card because we use the Square app so I was able to do that and she was totally fine with it wasn't a big deal but it is a little embarrassing to not have change and you don't want to make it hard for people to buy your stuff. You want to make it easy. So um, have plenty of change. From now on, I'm going to take $40 in change for the cash till. And then I'm going to have a few, maybe a 20 or 2 or a 10 or so in my pocket just to make sure in case something big comes along. And uh, that's just one big tip is have plenty of change. Tip number two I learned from a really cool guy who was set up there at the farmer's market. He was selling some berries and some tomatoes and just some simple stuff. But he was selling some lettuces that he had, and I thought that was really cool in a small rural market like ours is. We're, we're not some big fancy market with all the salad greens and all that. The, our markets are mainly just like um, southern vegetables, tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, stuff like that. So it was nice to see somebody selling lettuce and kind of inspired me. But what he had was, and this is tip number two, have a spray bottle with some chilled water. He had a little cooler there that he kept some of his stuff in, you know, to keep cool. And he had a little water bottle in there, like a little spray bottle. And he would bring it out every 30 minutes or so. And he would just kind of mist over his lettuces and things that, you know, needed the water so that they wouldn't wilt. Uh, because I noticed that about two or three hours into the market, uh, you know, the sun was coming out good and it was uh, getting warm. It was getting pretty hot about lunchtime or so. And uh, my radishes that I had brought, the greens were kind of wilting a little bit. It still looked fine, but... They weren't as pristine as they could have been, and I thought, man, what a cool tip. So tip number two is have you a chilled, kind of cooled spray bottle in your cooler, and you can spray it on your greens or whatever you got going on that would keep it fresh and cool, and it would help uh, your stuff not to wilt. Tip number three that I learned is not to oversell or overdo it. Um, bless my heart, I was so excited to be at the farmer's market. I was loving everything. I was talking to people. I was just so excited. I was getting with the other farmers and seeing what they had, and I would kind of direct people to their booth if I didn't have something they were looking for, you know. And it was just a great thing, and I was so excited, and I would talk to everybody and tell everybody what I had, and I'd show them every single thing. And it got to be a little bit too much, I think, honestly. I like to stand at the booth. I don't like to sit down a whole lot. I like to stay standing and engage. I like to greet people, talk to them, be nice, smile, all that good stuff. But I think that people... Don't feel as like, whoa, if you just kind of make general conversation and maybe push one or two things that maybe they're just looking at. You know, you kind of want to let them shop and kind of have their space while still being hospitable and friendly. So the last market we just did, I just kind of stood back, said, hey, ask them how the day was, ask them, you know, kind of make some little bitty conversation. But that was about it. And I let them kind of ask me about things. Or if they had, if they were looking at something, I was like, oh yeah, that's our patty pan squash. They're an old heirloom, you know. And that's just kind of how I would leave it. I wasn't too in your face or too engaging. And people responded a lot well, better to it. And I actually almost doubled my money last week. <laughs> so um, I guess tip number three is don't attack people. Don't be overselling. Just be polite and kind and smile 
and just be there to help them. All right, guys. Well, today's video was short and sweet and, uh, and really simple. Just three tips that I learned from doing a couple of farmer's markets. But I hope it gave you some good value. If you have any cool tips or tricks that you've learned if you're a farmer market grower, I would love to hear about them in the comments. It'll help our markets out and it'll help anybody watching this video. So please leave us a comment. Um, about uh, what you like to do at the farmer's market and some tips that you have. And also, if you enjoy the channel, if you like the video, I'd like for you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can see what's coming up. We've got a lot of cool things. I'm actually tilling up a second plot, so pretty exciting uh, to, to do that for the winter and for the fall. But yeah, leave us a comment, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.